Hi, my name's Kirsten and today I'm potting up some caladiums and colocasia and I thought it'd be fun to take you along with me. I just want to run through the types of plants that I'm going to be potting up first and kind of the background behind them. I ordered these from Farmer Gracie on the 6th of January, so it's taken all that while for a reason. Farmer Gracie specialise in colocasia, caladiums, alocasia and those kind of bulb type plants. They sell other things too but that's their kind of speciality and the thing with these is essentially because they're selling bulbs they're overwintering them. With these kind of tropical house plant bulbs they can't be planted up in January. They can't also go through extreme cold in January. So when I ordered them they were always going to be pre-order because they were overwintering in safe conditions in this nursery in the Netherlands essentially and when the temperatures get a little bit better then they start actually releasing the product. Now all of my bulbs here they came with this here which has like care guides for the caladiums here and the colocatia as well and a postcard as well. Uh, let me just have a look at the caladium general info. Caladiums bring colours of the tropics to your growing space and create a fresh vibrant exotic planting style. True that, that's why I've got them. Planting basics, they're tender tropical plants. See, th that's what I meant, they're tender essentially. So that means that they can't um, have it going too cold. Caladiums are tender tropical plants and need to be protected from frost. So it's important to start them off either in a greenhouse or in your home in the spring. Uh, in a warm indoor environment and with a little water to start them off and they'll soon begin to establish some growth. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to be planting them inside on a shelf with a room that has like quite bright light but also will have a grow light with it and I'm using a seeding mat as well so hopefully that will really help and then I'm going to take them outside. I might keep some inside because I've got quite a lot but um, I'm definitely going to try and put some of them outside and bring some tropics to my back and front garden. So that's pretty cool that that came with this. The types of plants I have, so I got three Colocasia Black Magics. Um, yeah, there's three bulbs and there and I'm going to put them around my pond and my pond has a kind of like shallow bit and I was going to put it in a pot in that shallow bit which would then fill the bottom and then go up and I'm trying to create kind of like a marsh end situation for the for the plant. That's how they grow in the wild. Well, not in pots, so I'm gonna have to be careful about that. Okay, cool. So this is in this brown paper paper package, and this it's got sawdust inside, so I'm gonna get sawdust everywhere. So this is a colocasia uh, tuber. It's quite hairy, actually. Um, that looks like the root there, and that looks like the stem there. So I should get quite a nice set of Colocasia Black Magics. Okay, Groovy. The other plant I got was I actually got three Caladium Red Flash. I didn't just buy three because I was like oh I want them all. Uh, it's because I kind of wanted more than one Caladium and more than one Colocasia and they came in packs of three. But as you will find out, I actually have a lot of caladiums. <laughs> now this is the caladium red flash bulb. The lumpy bit, that's where you plant it upwards and the flatter bit, that, that goes down. So all of these lumps here are eyes essentially that are going to create new growth points. So yes, that's the red flash. Again, three, three red flash. And then, surprise, surprise, I have some more caladiums and this is the Fancy Mix. There's five in here and basically they said it was going to be a mix of green, white, pink and red caladiums. And I thought when they came that I would, that they would tell you what type of one it was, but they just put them in a bag of five. So I don't know 
which one's which what color or anything so i'm just going to pot them up today and then when they like grow then then i'll just find out basically <laughs> so this is going to be kind of a cool surprise uh, but essentially uh, that is it i have those large palladiums let's just see if these are as big they're not quite as big but they're quite hairy so yeah that'll be interesting just before we go and pot up, I just want to take this opportunity to say if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you've got any sort of ideas, comments or suggestions or if you want me to make any other kind of video, leave that in the comment below. So let's get potting up. So before I pot up the Caladiums, I actually need to DI them and I looked into this process but this is the first time I'm doing it and I fail to really take in that actually after you DI them you have to wait three to what well, one to three days for the DIs to callus over. So I will film the potting up on a different day and edit it into this. Before I start I've got my tarps laid out, I've got my caladiums and I've got a bucket because it's always good to have a bucket when you are doing kind of anything planty for any kind of like excess soil or rubbish or in this case there's like a load of sawdust in these to collect all the junk so that's good and also I always have a bowl with me when I pop things up I always find I need it and of course a sharp knife I am using a very sharp kitchen knife I need to get a blade really because scissors will not do for this task and um, yeah that's something I need to get hold of but in the meantime a very sharp knife is what you need. So what is DIing? I'm so glad you asked. Essentially when you are dealing with caladium bulbs you've got the top side and that has all these lumps on it and in the center of sort of each of the lumps you'll you'll see kind of like um, a bump and that is that's the eye and that's where all the leaves are going to come from the bottom side is flat so you know when you plant it you plant it bottom side down so that these sprouts can come up however if you actually remove the sprout from the middle then it actually activates all like all of these little lumps um, and little eyes around the central one that may not have actually activated and that way you get like more leaves so we're going to go ahead and do that now i've got one here already that i've done um i did it before i started filming because i wanted to get my eye in leave the comedy for the professionals so yeah as you can see i got rid of the little ones it doesn't really matter if you take a bit of a flesh from around it that's not going to be a problem at all so there's that one so let's get started here They're kind of a little bit hairy over, ah, sometimes it's hard to see. There we go, gotcha. Um, yeah, it's like hairy around it, it's a bit odd. There we have it. I'm actually going to leave one of the red flash bulbs because I have three of these and I kind of just want to see the difference between a DI'd one and one that hasn't been DI'd uh, and see how that comes out. So I'll sort of label this when I actually put it up so I know the difference to see if there is actually a difference. And of course on the update videos we'll be able to fill you guys in. So this is a fancy mix of which there are five apparently in here. This is really large. 
if you see this, so these are actually a bit like, you know, your daffodils or even garlics or whatever, where they get like different growth points um, essentially on the bulbs and they sort of keep on growing more and more and more. Um, and this one's a little bit loose. So yeah, um, yeah, it's probably loose. This one's huge. So this is part of the fancy mix. It's a mixture of green, white, pink and red. I have no idea which one's which. I have no idea what kind of green, white, pink or red or anything like that. So that's going to be a surprise for us all. Yay! That looks quite lumpy at the bottom as well as the top. I suppose it is sort of flatter that side. How odd. Okay, right. I will start to DI these. Now we tackle the beast. I know this isn't really a beast because I've seen big ass caladium bulbs and they get really massive. Maybe it will grow into a beast in my care, who knows? This one looks much sturdier than the others. Please be red, please be red, please be red. So here are my DI'd caladiums. Now I'm just going to let these callous over for one to three days and I will get back to you then. Okay, let's get down to it. So as you can see, this is the Colocasia Black Magic here. And I've already put some potting mix in the bottom of the pots, of all of the pots, and kind of just put their bulbs in place while I show you what I'm doing with them. The colocasia um, is essentially like this. So basically we have the sprout on the top and the roots will come out of the bottom there and that's in there. And it's a bit about two inches down and I'll put some soil on in a minute. And this here is the red flash that I de-eyed. And as you can see, all of these eyes that I had cut out have all healed over nicely and all of these around the side, all of these little eyes will start to grow and it'll probably grow some, looks like there's something going on here as well, but definitely all of these ones around the side will activate. So the main bulb will not take the hit. It will, um, it'll start to use the kind of secondary um, sprouts as well when I do that. So this one, <laughs> There was this kind of little one that fell off. So this one's getting a brucey bonus in here. So essentially, yeah, that's it. I've got um, some soil in there and I'm about to cover these all up and they're all prepared. Those are my colocasia and everything else. That's the colocasia, sorry, that's the caladium 
fancy mix which i don't really know what they are yet and these are the red flash so um, i'll just cover them in soil So as a final step when you've got these sorts of potting going on it's good to label them as well. I have, I've got a bunch of these actually. I would normally use lollipop or ice lolly sticks but in this occasion I actually had these um, which I mean they're kind of fancy and nice but to be fair I think I prefer the lollipops because it's a bit of recycling and in addition it means I get to eat more lollipops so And if you recall, I have basically no idea what's in the fancy mix ones yet. So until I find out, they're just getting labeled fancy mix and I will turn them around and write, for instance, on the back with their actual ones. If I start to find out what they are, uh, I don't know. And then next year when I pot them up, I will pot them with these particular ones so I don't waste them. So when I overwinter them, I will... Oh, I only did, I didn't do enough. Well, that's really annoying. I'll do another one in a second. You get the idea. I'm gonna go and water these in now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will of course update you when they start poking their heads out of the soil. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell if you want to see more. Cheerio.